At the end of the current year and the beginning of the new year, I always like to do videos that are kind of like reflecting on my past year. And I know you're probably seeing that a lot around YouTube and that is not necessarily what this video is. Don't get me wrong, one is in the pipeline. You will see a my year in review like I've done for many years. But when I was kind of reflecting on this year, of course it was a dumpster fire. I feel like it was a real sharknado of a year. You know, you just kind of like don't think this could be happening and then another shark gets added to the tsunami. Like that's what this year was. But among the bad, there were moments of good and there were little things that brought me joy. As I was sitting reflecting on my year, preparing for like my year in review video, I kind of was like, what are the things that made me happy this year? Because obviously it wasn't like experiences or like going places or like, life events, what made me happy? What brought me joy? What brought little sparks of light amidst the dark? So in this video, I want to share with you the things that made me happy. <laughs> And, and they're all really silly things. They are. 2021 is coming in a day because it is 1 a.m. on December 31st, 2020. So tomorrow is 2021. And even though the calendar page will be turned, things are not changing. You know, we're still gonna be inside the pandemic and all the bad in the world, yada, yada. We, we know it. That's all still staying here. So I feel like moving into the new year, being prepared with like what makes you happy so you can go back to it, have it be like, you know, an arsenal of like, Oh, a little bit of joy that I need. Let me take that joy. I don't know what this uh, analogy is, but if I can give you an arsenal of joy, I'd like to do so. So here are the silly things that made me happy this year. Where do we begin? Let's start with like TV, video, movies is what those are called. They're called movies. The motion pictures. The talkies, as some people may call them still. Anyway, Trolls World Tour. If you haven't seen Trolls, the original Trolls 1, you don't necessarily need to in order to understand Trolls World to Tour, which is so hard to say. I don't know what it is about the Trolls franchise, but I just, I really do love it. And I regret not getting a picture with Poppy and Branch the last time I was at Universal Studios, to be completely honest. It's on HBO. It has Kelly Clarkson in it. It's fun for the whole family. I cried. It's so good. I just, it's, it's, I, yeah. Okay, the next movie that just came out, I have the pop of Joe there, Soul, Disney Pixar. It just came out, so I'm not gonna really talk about it, but you are going to cry, probably. I did. You have a very much like, my life. Like, it's a movie that hits deep, man. Ooh, especially this year, especially this year, but it's also so good, the music. Oh, I love jazz music so much. Other things I loved watching this year that might not be as interesting to go back and watch now that I'm thinking about it, but the Apple events that happened this year, obviously this is mainly a tech channel. Y'all know if you're not new to the channel that I love tech. I love the Apple events. I was just so happy as a tech, like obsessed person, as an Apple fanboy. There's something about the Apple events that they are always like such a big deal for me. I always say they're Apple Christmas and I enjoy the excitement of new technology and it just does something to my heart and we got like four events this year and they were so beautifully put together and just so exciting and I they were the little big not little they were big sparks of joy this year they really were and it sounds so silly for the announcement of tech products that most of the crap I couldn't even afford but there's just something about technology that like strikes a chord with me and it, it got me all giddy and excited another thing watching wise was Love Island UK season four specifically that show got me through the beginning of quarantine and that show is just such good trash reality TV. Like if you like reality TV, it's just so dense. <laughs> It was so, it's so funny. And honestly, there's like a couple different versions of Love Island, but the American version, I don't think I'd want to watch because the fun part about the UK version is trying to figure out what these freaking people are saying. Jack and Danny love them, but just trying to figure out what these people are saying because their accents are so thick. It's just so fun. It doesn't mean anything. Another thing that was just fun was- And welcome to uh, the YouTube show on WOW Presents YouTube channel with two of my favorite drag queens, Trixie Mattel and Katya. They have this show on YouTube that is just like two best friends who are also comedians and drag queens just talking about a topic for like 15 and 20 minutes. The editing, 
fantastic. Whoever edits their stuff is also a comedian of their own because it, it's so good. It's such good editing, so much fun. They're in front of a green screen, so like anything can happen. If y'all like drag queens, if you like Trixie and Katya on YouTube, go watch it. It's a good time. Now I want to talk about video games. Video games that I've been loving this year. They're all on the Switch. That's the only game console I have. Among Us brought me tons of joy this year. I think it brought the world tons of joy. The best way to play it, don't go into those random lobbies. You always get kicked out early, but if you play with friends, I was playing with friends earlier and experiencing a whole lot of joy because it's so much fun. I was playing with my old improv team and like, it's a weird way to feel like you're with people. I've been loving watching videos actually of my favorite YouTubers playing Among Us, but also a few times I get to play with friends. It's always just like such a good and fun and like you're laughing and it's just like, it, it's a good, good time. Also, I really have loved Animal Crossing because that came at the perfect time this year and it's a really freaking good game. And it was so exciting to have that game back from my childhood on my Switch. It looks beautiful. All the downloadable content is really cool too because the game's like constantly changing. If, if you haven't played Animal Crossing yet and you've, you've been waiting for like the sign, this is your sign, go forth and play. Now, let's talk about music. Maybe you're looking for more music in your life. Five albums that you need to listen to. Lady Gaga's Chromatica. Art Pop walked so Chromatica could run. And boy, did Chromatica run. Katy Perry, Smile. Dua Lipa, Future Nostalgia. Ungodly Hour by Chloe and Halle. Trolls World Tour. Trolls World Tour. Trolls World Tour. You'll thank me later. And the last couple of things are all little random things. Something I love this year, doing Duolingo. I'm learning Dutch. Duolingo is such a fun way to learn a language. And if I'm grateful for anything this year, is to be having, have is to be, to, to have been, been. Been. to have been given the opportunity to spend so much time on learning the language that I've always wanted to learn and never been able to dedicate so much time to. Another thing I'm so grateful for about this year is reading. Okay, the book I've been reading is this one here. One of the books is the Steve Jobs biography by Walter Isaacson. It's a thick boy. Even if you're not an Apple fanboy like myself, such a fascinating book. But I've been having so much fun reading, which wow, I'm so happy I get to say that as a 20 five year old. I've been having fun reading. That's exciting. Wow, look at me getting smarter this year. Ah! Okay, another thing that this is stupid. I know I'm a 25 year old lady. Disney Parks Wishables have brought me so much joy. They are these stinking little stuffed animal boys and they're so cute. I don't know what it is about these cute little eyes or the little smirks or the little eyebrows. I could be doing drugs. But instead, I'm spending my money on stinking stuffed little figure, plush animals, whatever, and they make me happy when I look at them. So sue me. If that's wrong, I don't I wanna don't be want right, to folks. Be I feel like the wishables are a very niche thing, but I love them so much. Another thing I don't think I've ever talked about online is my knitting. I've also picked this back up. I've knit since I was, I think, 10 years old. So I've knit for about 15 years. I made this, this shawl thing I'm very into that is very soft. And it is just such a nice and relaxing way to kind of like unwind and just do something that isn't just sitting and staring at a screen. I've been really loving knitting. If you don't know how to knit, definitely like look it up on YouTube. It's a good time. Knitting is a good time and I've loved getting back into it. And honestly, getting better. I'm, I'm getting better. I've been knitting for 15 years. All I've ever done is rectangles and squares, but I feel like I'm getting better. And maybe 2021 is the year I go into things that are not squares and rectangles. Who knows? Anything is possible. The New York Times crossword puzzle. I've been into crossword puzzles for a long time and I used to get People Magazine only for the crossword puzzles. I just kind of spur of the moment said, I'm gonna buy myself a year subscription to the New York Times games. It was like 30 bucks, totally worth it. They've got the mini crosswords. They've got the big crosswords. If you wanna feel smart, complete a crossword puzzle. Also, there's different types of brain puzzles. I love myself a brain game. I love a puzzle. It's been really delightful. I can honestly say that. Crossword puzzles and knitting. How old am I? I'm 60 or I'm ethereal. Can you tell it's um, almost 2 a.m.? And the last thing on my list that really just brought me joy this year is going on 
walks. And I started this before the, the quarantine and the pandemic and everything. I actually started going on a daily walk every morning or like right when I would get off of work, if I started work at like 5 a.m. or something like that, I would go on a walk, a minimum of a 15 minute walk. And when I tell you, and I had a video planned for this and maybe I'll do this video, like actually complete it. Cause I, I like filmed everything and then I just decided to not finish it for some reason. I don't know why I didn't, but I started it as like a, a 30 day challenge to do walks every day. It was something that I continued to do. And then even when the pandemic started and I came home, I did that too. And the last couple months I haven't been able to because of the weather and just like things at home, just not giving me the opportunity to go out during the daytime and your girl's not going on a walk at night. There's something about going on a walk and either just listening to the nature sounds or music or podcast and just going on a walk, being able to like one, exude some energy has been so nice, especially this year where a lot of us have been sedentary, but then one, you're, you're being active. So yay, moving your body, that's good. But then just getting some fresh air. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. The fires in California made it to where I couldn't go on a walk for a really long time. And I was really bummed about that. But I noticed how like much my mood changed by just being able to like, I don't know, man, I don't know what it is, but it, walks have brought me so much joy. It's something you can do that you can be distant from other people and just kind of like take some time for yourself. And even like 10, 15 minutes like flies by for me. So I've been, I, it sounds really silly, but I've loved walks this year. Going on walks has been absolutely peachy. There you have it. There are some things that brought me such joy this year. And I know a lot of them are pretty silly, but in a year of a lot of not silly things happening, you need some silliness to make you happy. And if that means you're spending like 10 bucks on a little blushy of Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast that you can just look at a smiling face and smile as well. I think it's so important that we find little things that we know we can return to to make us happy because this year did have a lot of darkness in it. It totally did. But like, if we can just find one little candle to bring us some light. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, so I hope you found something in this list and I would love to know what brought you joy this year. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending time with me because my YouTube channel has definitely been the biggest bringer of joy and every comment that y'all leave, anytime you share a video, you send me a message about my videos or whatever, like my YouTube channel, my YouTube community has brought me the most joy this year. I am so, so grateful for every single person like you don't even understand. You don't even get it. If you're, uh, yeah, man, thank you. Just thank you. So here's to hopefully more opportunities of joy in 2021. Thank you for watching. Stay beautiful. Have a marvelous day and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Ooh, a two-handed wave. <laughs>